attracted to men with big muscles. Yes. But today, we are going to crown the man who has the least muscles and call him Mr. Puniverse. Our first contestant is an Ivy League Puniverse. A puny person, I should say. His last name Smalley appropriately describes his waist and not his mind, because he's a student at Princeton University. Let's give a puny welcome to Greg. Step on out, Greg. Our first Mr. Puniverse. He's so embarrassed to come back. Wait a second. I don't know why he ran off the stage here before he was judged. Greg, come on back. Come on back here. My God, look at that waist. Do you eat? Yes. Yes? And how big is your waist? 29. 29. Later on in the show, we're going to be judging big butts, but you have, like, no butt at all. Look at this man. Okay. Please, Greg. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Yes, Pat Cooper, what, how, what, would, you, what would you rate Let this man? Let me explain something. Yeah. Go ahead. That's an iron board. That's an ironing board, I, yeah. I could do my shirts on this guy. Yeah. What would you give him? I'm going to give him an, an, give him an eight. An, an eight. eight. Yeah. Alyssa Alps. Your score, please. I'm going to need... Yeah? A seven. Are you attracted to men like this? Obviously Say not. Yes. <laughs> Grandpa, yes. <laughs> From looking from here, he ain't built big any place. I'll give him a nod. <laughs> At M Marilyn Michaels. I think he has a very sweet face, and I think it's better to look the way you do than to be overweight. I think you're very healthy, okay? So I gave you a six. A uh, six. Thank you, Greg, our first contestant. Our second contestant for the title of Mr. Puniverse. Let's meet Adrian. Adrian is so puny and skinny, his girlfriend sometimes slips him over and uses him as a mop. There he is. Adrian.